All right. So now loft, like I said, it, it transitions. So here I have a square, it's got a circle. And by doing loft and picking those profiles, it's going to make one consistent shape between them. When you're picking your profiles, you want to pick the same type, same area on each one. Because depending on where you pick, it might twist it. So if you picked here and there, it would want to twist where those first points were. So that's kind of the bottom look. So here we're going to do this one. So we have five sketches set up with different profiles in each sketch. So this, now this week is when it's okay to have more than one sketch. So if you are up to now, it's always one sketch at a time, use it or lose it. Now's the time where you can have more than one, but once you're done using those, that set, use them or lose them. So we might have 10 sketches for a loft or two sketches for a sweep, but if, if you don't use your sketch in that, in that sequence, get rid of it. Um, but here they are. So I just got multiple planes. You can kind of see I've got it offset, different heights, so it's going to kind of go up and then straight out along the circle for those. I'm going to go loft, and then the sections. I'm going to pick. There, to there, to there, to there, to that point. Kind of all on that same side. If I pick Actually behaving. Sometimes it'll get messed up, especially if you have multi-sided things. It'll do it more often than with round things. Yes, we are. So that's these sections. Rails kind of help control what the outside of it looks like. So if I knew I wanted to do a specific shape on it, like on this, I wanted this to be a specific shape. I lofted from two kind of um, two shapes kind of like that that are different sizes. I did a loft and I did rails to control this curve and then the underneath curve. And we're going to do this as our practice today. We're going to do something like it. Um, and then, so the rails will control those other edges. Otherwise, it just wants to go straight between them. So we're not going to do that right now. So, and the conditions, and now I can tell this point what I want it to look like. <coughs> so, I can change the, the type of the point there. See, yeah, I'm trying to, that I want it to have a relationship with this plane in a weight of 10. If I change that up, it's going to flatten it even more. Down, it's going to be more point. Same kind of thing with this one. Make it a tangent. And so that's how, if, if you just want the end of it, you do a point, and then you control the tangency and the weight to kind of round it out some more. So like on your handle on the project, just make it look good. Um, this is one where 
you're going to do it off your drawing. You're just going to make it look right, and the machine is going to try and match that. But more, preferably, you'll send them the CAD file. They'll put it on the CNC, and it'll cut it out perfect, like you drew it. <clears throat> so now there's that. So go ahead and add that in. 